Welcome back to my little channel. I wanted to do a video on the following when I first saw it, but I didn't have time and then stuff happened and shit happened. I, I find to have a lot of excuses why I'm not doing the things I want to do. I need to readdress my life, it seems. But enough of me. This is a funny video because here we have someone complaining that she isn't English. Now, I'm not quite sure why she's complaining, but let's look into it. And I'm, I'm curious what you think. So let me know at the end. I am going to stop it from time to time to, um, to respond to her video. Which video you mean? Well, um, this one. And um, come on, dear. Tell us what you don't have. Balls. Indeed. Here we go. I'm angry now. I'm not English. How can I be English when one second they're inviting us here and the next they're telling us we're illegal immigrants? Who is telling you you're illegal? But go on. How can I be English when I have a British passport? Uh, British passport because England is part of the United Kingdom and... Yeah, okay, fair enough. You're not English, you're British. I'm not English. How can I be English? when the rest of the country voted leave? They voted to leave the European Union. I'm not really sure what that has to do with you being not English. I mean, the leave vote was about leaving the European Union, not kicking out everyone who's not English. This is a... Uh... Okay, continue. Except for the fact that I was born here. Yeah, and you're welcome to stay there. No one is kicking you out. And I like tea. That's nice. Good for you. You see, English is a dirty word. That's my reflex. I don't use it. It's not a description that relates to me. Yeah, but the thing is, it's a description that basically holds true for nearly everyone in England. And because you decided it's a dirty word because it doesn't hold up to your standard, you're throwing away a lot of people, aren't you? You don't think English is a good description. It's a dirty word. So how about those millions upon millions that do consider themselves English? And they have no problem with you either doing or not doing the considering of yourself being English. It's... um rather entitled of you don't you think just throwing away millions upon million people because you don't like the concept of english because they voted to leave the european union that's um words fail me at the moment i was born in east london nice of you well done in england and there's recognition can you show us more disgust with that face I grew up in London, in England. I the disdain is pretty nice, don't you think? I live in London, England. Yes, this is England, but I am a Londoner through and through. It's in my walk, my talk, even in the way I eat. So now you don't want to be English. You, you recognize you're British. You don't want to be English. But you do consider yourself Londoner. Are you now saying London isn't English? Because that's the automatic result of that, isn't it? I mean, I'm not English, but I am Londoner. Well, London is part of England, so then I'm English. But I'm not English, but I'm just a Londoner. So Londoner is a completely different description. You are rather good at creating groups, aren't you? My Londonisms skew the way I see this land. I am a Londoner. I like the way the words feel. It makes me feel special. It makes me feel unique. Yeah, I work in healthcare, plenty of special people there. Everyone in the world is unique, so I wouldn't overrate that too much. But it is kind of funny how um, you think that throwing away most people because you don't like an aspect of their life is in favor of you um, 
Yeah, no, you know what? I'm going to rephrase that. You really are playing the victimhood points up here, aren't you? And it makes you feel good. I wonder why. We are an island within this island. We should have our own flag. You, the, the funny thing is, and, and I'm pretty sure that um, she should know that, but, um, you know, London does have a flag. Have you seen it? It's, um, yeah. Because the English one? That doesn't represent me. I, I, I'm sorry, my dear, but the flag I'm showing the people now is the London flag. And um, just just to be sure that people know what I'm talking about, I'll um, I'll also show them the English flag and see if they can um, recognize a difference, so to speak. Because the London flag represents you, but the English flag doesn't. Um, okay. That's not something I can be proud of. How can I be when I've got a memory of my dad sitting me down telling me what that flag means to people who look like me? <coughs> that flag should be a map to my identity, but how can it be when the white represents the EDL? The I'm sorry. Okay, so you play victim pretty well, but I didn't know you could do stupid fluently. Maybe I should have started with the realisation that you do. The English flag is the, uh, what's it called, George, 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 no, not George, I'm terrible with names, I know, it's the St. George Cross. Now, the St. George Cross has a long history. It used to be um, a flag that has been drawn, made up, I don't know, but um, the um, King Philip of France used to carry that flag as he went into the Crusades. It's kind of funny because Henry II of England had a white cross and the French king had a red cross. <clears throat> they agreed to that. I don't know why. But according to what I found, King Edward uh, used to have red crosses on all of his soldiers. So we're talking about the 12th century. I'm not quite sure. Can, can, can you remind me, please, when the EDL was started? Because um, I'm, I'm thinking it wasn't the 12th century. I'm thinking it wasn't even 12 years ago. So I'm sorry that your father... Um, no, sorry. Never mind. Go on, then. National Front. The racism spat at my dad. And when I see those lines of red, I see the blood of my ancestors. It's the St. George Cross. And, and, and for those of you who are just listening and not looking, if you look at the flags on the left side, it's the London flag. It only has a sword in the top left corner. But other than that, it is the English flag. The flag on the right obviously being the English one. They're both St. George Crosses. <sighs> I wish I found the pride I want to feel when I look at the flag, but this is England. This is England, Spitzkano. This is England. This is England. We make England. We built England. Maybe I should... Well, I'm going to stop you right there before you make it worse. We build England. I'm going to move it a little bit because of the bloody sun. Never mind. Say that louder for the Home Office. We built England. Okay, so go over to the Home Office and say, we build England. Fair enough. You didn't build England, you entitled twat. Oh my God, you're pissing me off. And I know I've seen this before, but it still angers me. This is what I don't like when people say, oh, well, we did this or we did that. You're not we, my dear. When England was there, you weren't. As I said, 12th century... There was an England already. There was no you, was there? There was no family of you in England, was there? This is this is the stupidity of those who play these victim games. Well, but you wouldn't be where you were if it weren't for me. You're not that important. Granted, neither am I. 
But I can at least say that my ancestors actually had a hand in building this country. Your ancestors weren't there yet. And I'm not English, obviously, so different countries. But in the 1200th, uh, well, the, the 1200th century? No, not 12th century, sorry. In the 12th century, there was an England. Your family wasn't there. I'm not saying you are not worth having your voice heard or anything like that. But pretending that you built this country, you're part of what built this country, no. No, seriously, no. I'm not even going to bother with letting you finish because, in all fairness, to me, you have said enough, or at least I had enough of what you had to say. I'm going to leave the flags up, though, because it's, it, to me, it's really funny. Oh, I wish there were a London flag. Oh, there is. I hate the English flag because racism, they're the same. There's only a sword in one of them. And, and oh my God, the, the white stands for the EDL. A flag that's over 800 years old stands for a group of people started 12 years ago. I can't believe how stupid some people are. You know what? If you can't consider yourself to be English, why live in the UK? That's not true. Scottish people can't consider themselves English either. Yep, fair enough. Move to Scotland. No, but seriously, this is something I'm trying to explain to people all the time. It doesn't matter what your ethnicity is. It matters what your attitude is. It matters what your culture is. Do you want to be English? Be English. Don't you want to be English? Fair enough. Be something else. But then don't start berating the hand that bloody feeds you. No, I have a job. They are, they're not giving me anything. You're living under the protection and safety considered by a government of a country. So, yes, they are feeding you. Because, let's be honest, if you wouldn't have had those protections, would you be entitled to anything? Would you have any safety? See, you don't have to like England. You don't have to agree with everything the English government stands for, or the UK in this case, because English government, eh, fair enough. But you're still part of that society. And if you're going to say, well, no, well, I, I don't consider myself part of that society, then why the hell do you stay there? I think this is the main problem we are seeing in in whole of the Western world, this this multiculturalism thing, this it's not about ethnicity. I don't care about your skin color. You do. You do. I care about the culture you create. And you're creating a culture that says, I'm not with the rest of this country. I'm not with the people who slave to make this world a greater place. I'm not standing for parliament or the government or the police or the health services they're all nothing to do with me because they're english and i'm not well, i'm paying for them i'm working in this country i'm speaking the language i'm working in this country and i'm upholding the law well if you're doing those two th three things why are you not english because let's be honest upholding the law speaking the language and you know earning your own keep makes you a citizen, doesn't it? And if you're a citizen, you can either be English or not, fair enough. You don't have to be English to be a citizen, don't get me wrong. But if you then turn against the city or the country you are a citizen of, you should ask yourself, why am I a citizen in this country? Or, at least, be grateful that the country you claim not to be a citizen of doesn't tell you to get the fuck out then. And too bad that people always seem to make this about ethnicity. It's not. It's about stupidity. Either you are part of a society, and therefore you are part of a society, or you are not. And here you are, proudly exclaiming, I'm not part of this society. Oh, I'm going to be part of the London society, which is English. Oh, okay. But I'm not English. I'm going to stop my rant. I'm curious what you people think of my little rant. 
And um, yeah, who knows, maybe I'll see you all next time. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. And uh, see you all next time.